All right, the first question, Omar Kelly. Curtis, congratulations on being drafted by the Dolphins. What was this process like, and what was it like to wait till day three to be selected? Um, it was stressful just waiting for your name to be called, just like everybody else in the draft. But I'm glad the Miami called me, and I'm just happy uh, at the moment right now. Chris Perkins. Hey, Curtis, uh, congratulations on being drafted. Um, you know, the Dolphins are building a lot of competition at different spots on the roster. Uh, edge rusher slash defensive end is one of them. I'm wondering how many times in your life you've had to compete. Like in high school, did you have to compete or were you the best at Boise State? Did you have to compete for a starting job? At, and, and what was that experience like for you if you have had to compete? Um, every every level I played in, I had to compete. Um, I think that's, that's just the game of football. So um, com competition is where you excel, I feel like. And I'm just coming in here to compete um, with other guys on the team. Cam Wolf. Uh, congrats, Curtis. Um, I, I know you probably expected to go a little higher. I, I know some people were questioning what your true position was. What do you think your best fit is in a defense? And, and where do you feel like you're most successful? Um, Wherever the coach needs me to go as of right now um, with the Dolphins, I know the coach is going to put me in great position for me to make plays, and I'm just um, behind them 100%. Adam Beasley? Uh, I think I read somewhere that you were the all-time Mountain West Conference leader in sacks. Is that correct? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, how'd that happen? Um, work, working hard, effort, um, second um, is on the field. Everything you got, God's gift. Safed? Yeah, I wanted to ask you what goes through your mind every time you kind of get past the offensive lineman to get a sack. What it, what does it mean to you every single time that you get one? What's that feeling like? Um, winning that competition, winning that rep, um, that's a big thing for me. Um, going through a football game, just winning that um, that play. Omar, how comfortable do you feel dropping back in coverage? Because this defense requires you guys to do multiple things and play different schemes. Um, I feel comfortable. Did it in college. Um, not new to it. Um, a lot of friends that are DBs helped me pave the way and help and um, know, know my coverages, know routes and things like that. So I'm comfortable. Joe Shad. Curtis, entering the draft, where were you hearing you might be drafted? What rounds did you think you, you, you were most likely to go? Um, I, I believe my projection was like one to three. All right. It looks like that's all. Uh, one more here. Let's go to uh, Omar Kelly again. What What was your thought process when you entered the draft? I mean, what, what did you just feel like it was time to begin that professional career? Or, um, yeah, I felt like um, winning championships at Boise State was at the top of my task, and we did that. And then um, leaving came um, after leaving. I felt like just getting my body right, things like that, getting ready for the next level. I was ready for it. Safed. Curtis, what is, you know, what does this all mean to you, man, to finally have your name called, to finally have, you know, one of your dreams realized? And and where do you where do you want to go from here? I'm just blessed and uh, another opportunity for me to grab. Um, God gives us opportunities in life and is what are you going to do with it to take it? Um, that's just the big thing for me. And I'm just ready to come in and work hard. Chris Perkins. Hey, Curtis, through this whole experience, because, you know, we've got this coronavirus scare and, and we have to shelter in place, uh, I'm wondering how these interviews have gone for you with teams. Have, have you had any funny experiences? Has your computer cut out or has, has an executive's dog jumped on his lap while he was talking to you? Did anything funny happen? Uh, nothing crazy. Um, just great conversations, um, great internet connection. So none of them failed. And I was just, uh, just talking, just regular talking. Uh, and it all went well.